Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Here we are again. I can't believe how quickly time goes. Um, sorry, I'm look, a little mess. I was just sneezing. <clears throat> so, hi. Hi. Let me see if I know anybody here. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Hi, Susie. Hi, Jill. Good morning. A girl from Jersey. Tell me your name again. I always forget. Hi, Charlotte. I know I know you. Hi, Christine. How is everybody? Hi, Peggy. Hi, Gail. Um, so I'm excited to paint this morning as always. Um, I couldn't think about what I wanted to paint. Like going through, I might go going through all of the Christmas stuff, which I did enjoy. I almost wasn't going to do anything for the holidays because I felt a little burnt out and did. And I loved the things that happened. But now I'm happy. Hi, Laura. I'm happy to be back to <laughs> painting flowers and birds and the things that I love. Um, I've painted peonies the last few mornings. I'm going to do it again today just because sometimes... When you feel like doing something, you just have to follow that. Let me turn this around and I'll show you what I chose. So I chose this, oh, oh this crazy arm thing. You can see it here. Okay, now wait a minute. I don't want this to fall. Let me see if I can turn it so that's not filming. It is a little bit there. That's good enough. Okay, I love this um, photo because I'm, I've been playing around lately with, instead of desaturating my colors with compliments, I'm desaturating with a scale of grayscale that I made this morning. Um, and I love, I love when the light hits peonies, and I'm sure it does other flowers, but I notice it more in peonies, but how that looks like so, that color, that bright kind of glow and the underneath and the shadows. Um, so that's something I want to try to capture. So let me get started here with my transparent layer underneath. Happy Wednesday, Irma. I hope you guys are doing well. Everybody recovered from the holidays. I don't know how they are such a whirlwind. They just go by so quickly and at the end you, um, Everybody leaves, and I think, oh, my gosh, what just happened? And then clean up, which as much as it took us a while to get started on getting decorated for Christmas, now it's time to clean it all up. Um, so, yeah, but that, that too, will get done all in good time. Although today is my husband's birthday, so we'll probably have people here at our house on Friday, so we need to get that at least well underway. All put away. Lucky you. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we still have our lights on outside. I mean, it does keep the winter looking um, more cheerful, I think, to kind of leave your lights up for a while. I don't mind that. It always is such a stark contrast when everybody takes all their lights down and Christmas goes away and then there's nothing till spring. <clears throat> it almost looks very sad. Thank you, Anita. So I'm just putting in where my darks are. I want to pay a lot of attention to... to um, so what I did was I also made this image and black and white so I can pay attention to where my dark and light areas are. To do that with a, a photo, like really when you're blocking in this part, I could do this whole thing. You know what I'm going to, I'm gonna do this whole thing in pinks. I'm not even gonna block in color. I'm just gonna use these pinks to block in my darks and my lights. Let's see how that goes. As you're painting and figuring out you know, how to develop your own style, which I think I'm still doing. I guess it never ends, in all honesty. You're always developing your style. I always, you know, think that it's such a good idea to try all different kinds of things. You know, when the spirit moves you to give something a try, there's always a reason why that idea comes. Although, the problem with me is all my good ideas come in the middle of the night, and then I'm always afraid I'm going to forget them. 
and I often do, but I think they float back when they're meant to. <laughs> yeah, it is an ambitious one, right? I don't know. I don't know if the ambition of doing something that's more challenging, I don't know if it's, what am I thinking here before I say that? I don't know that it's so much ambition as if if I feel like doing something, it's much easier to make it happen. Whereas if I'm working on something that I don't feel passionate about or it feels a little heavy or not fun, then then that's ambitious. I think a simple painting on a day when I don't feel like doing it is more ambitious than a more challenging painting when I feel like doing it. Did that make any sense? I found that the older that I get, and it probably was always like this, but I think it's much more exaggerated right now, that if I feel like doing something, it's effortless. Like it, it just happens quickly. And when I don't feel like doing something, it is like pulling teeth. It is so hard to make it happen. I feel distracted. I can't focus, all those things. And all it really is, I think, is waiting until you get that feeling. Although <laughs> maybe sometimes it would never come. And there are chores and things that you have to do when you don't feel like it. But like, yeah, I have a lot of things to plan right now. I'm working on, I was working on a challenge that we're doing in my Inspiring Art membership group. And I just couldn't quite get it going. And I did the, like, I literally made an entire thing, wrote the whole thing, made it, created it, and woke up in the middle of the night. And I was like, mm, no, that's not what I want to do. Changed my mind, redid the whole thing in the last couple of days but I think if I had not pushed myself and just waited, that original idea would have come in the first place. Does that make any sense? Like, I feel like things have to happen in their own time. And I have trouble being patient with that. It's a challenge for me. Patience with things happening as they naturally should. The older I get, the better I get at paying attention to that. I'm rambling. <laughs> What's everybody saying in here? I find if if I just start, that helps too. Yeah, you just have to dive in. I agree. Just start. Or, you know, what did they say? Inspiration ha- catches you, but finds you working. Or what is that? When inspiration comes when it finds you working. And the working part's never hard. But there are days when, like, I start a painting and I... I'm working on it thinking, what was I thinking? Like, this is not at all fun. I'm pushing myself, and I should have just stayed in bed. <laughs> now I find that more with technology than painting. Technology seems to tell me when I should just stop, step away from the computer. I'm looking for any other dark darks. I kind of like it just the way it is. Now, wait, let me... This light's a little... There we go. Okay, I'm back on task here. I'm trying to decide if I should put pink in the background. Um, why not? Let's really just go in the direction of what my idea was to do a complete and total like magenta base and work on top of that. Because that'll show through then in everything. It's really fun. And you said it's hard to wait when you have a deadline. You push ahead and then the inspiration comes. Yes, that's right. Hopefully. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, when you have a deadline, that's completely different. Yeah, I've been working on getting art ready to go to. I do a show called the um, Notre Dame. Um, I think... I think it's, I don't know what it's called, the Notre Dame show, and it's, it's a really cool show. It's in Philadelphia, and it's a fundraiser for an all-girls private school, and I actually found out when I went, I, I've done it for several years now, but when I went the one year, I posted about it, and here, one of my very good friends went to school there, and I didn't realize it, but anyway, that's fun. I have artwork that I, I'm getting ready to go in there. Oh, did you see yesterday I did a story of, like, my day, which was kind of fun to do. It's hard to think about it all through the day, but it was fun. 
Good morning, Ellen. How are you? So that's what I've been getting ready for that Notre Dame show. Let me do a little dark right here. And um, I also, am, I'm doing a workshop in Kennett Square, PA, the first weekend in March, and it's going to be so much fun. You can find that information through the link in my bio up there or on my website under the learn section. But um, we're going to be doing, I haven't decided, I keep going back and forth whether we're going to paint only flowers or flowers and birds. I can never decide. I like to wait kind of and see the feel of the group and see what everybody wants to do. Anyway, but I had ordered um, aprons for everyone. And they just came and it was fun to see that. I get aprons with my artwork on them to give to everybody. There's another dark area. Light here. I'm just wiping off in some of the really lightest areas. Oh, Susie, thank you. Yes, I was really happy with how they turned out. Okay. I love that. I think I'm finished. <laughs> no, just joking. I do love the way that looks. All right, I'm cleaning up my palette. I'm going to get out my pigment sticks. All right. <clears throat> I still use one of your gorgeous aprons from the workshop a few. Oh, Allie, I love that. I was, when I was making the, the marketing stuff for that, I was going through all my old workshop photos and I saw you in the one at, at the barn that I did. I get them confused in my mind. But um, yeah, I love looking back through through the photos of my workshops and all the friends that I've made. Like how lucky am I to get to do that? It's like so much fun. And the one in Kennett Square is going to be really fun, too, because it's in a beautiful gallery. Um, and um, we're going to go out to dinner and, and paint and do all the fun things. It's a Sunday and a Monday. I decided to do it that way, um, well, partly because of the gallery's hours, but partly because I think it'll be nice to be a bit in the weekend and a little bit during the week. So it kind of works for people who work or don't work. Yeah, the, that barn, that was my friend Jackie's barn. So pretty. I should ask her if I can use it again. I just saw her at a party over the holidays. <clears throat> oh, Madeline, there, it's, the first, it's the first Sunday and Monday in March. I think it might be like, the, it's like single digits, the fourth and the fifth or something like that. And Kennett Square is just such an adorable little town. I think I could move there. Which is saying a lot because I never move. <laughs> Allie said, so fun we were there together. But we didn't know each other yet. Yes, that's the, such a neat thing. Like I've made so many friends from, from this art journey. It is fun. Like even when I did the, I just did a workshop in K Connecticut this year. And before that, I didn't know Carolyn. Um, I knew Jackie, but I don't think that I knew her well. Like it, and now we're all we have our own little little um, chat group, and we hear everybody's wins and when things are happening in each other's lives. Like I love that. I'm just putting in little bits where the green is. Or a little splash. Love my little splashes. Oh, I need a little gold. And then I can get down here and mix colors. Um, 
Where should I put gold? Yeah, it's hard because I don't know what colors are where, but I kind of like that now when I switch over to the roll photo and I add in the colors in the image and letting some of these unexpected thro show through, it might be even more spontaneous, I'm hoping. I love a little spontaneous. Yeah, Madeline, that wouldn't be too far for you. This would be a good one to have be gold. Okay, I think that's good. I think that's a really fun start. Connecticut Workshop, yes. That was special. Yeah, Pat wrote to me about doing it again, but I couldn't quite commit yet. <clears throat> I need to get through these few things that I'm doing. When I get too many things on my list, then I get a little overwhelmed. It was so much fun to workshop and meetings. Oh, yeah. yes, I know. Aren't we lucky? Okay, let me pull this whoops, down here. So the two colors I was using there in the base, <clears throat> Ellen, um, hmm, I can figure that out. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure there are. No, wait, because let me think. I didn't stay over. That's the town where I did my last art show of the year. Sorry, I have a light on. That's leaving that glare. I don't like that. Um, <coughs> but um, my friend Sherry stayed in a real cute little, like, Airbnb that she loved. I can figure that out. If you want to come, I will figure all that stuff out. Um, so this this is the color I used as my dark. It's amethyst. This is a, a newer color that I got. And I was mixing it up, seeing if I could get some of those kind of cool, bright, underneath colors. No, wait, let me pull this up here and think about this. So, whoops, wrong way. So I really need pinks, but I love like when it goes in the shadow area, how purple it gets in there and greens. And I need some kind of neutral beige colors. I'm just showing you what I'm thinking about. Okay. So, this, and this is what this looks like right now. That's really fun. As I always say, it would make cool sheets or something. Um, okay, no, wait, I'm going to have a sip of coffee and think for one second. All right, so <clears throat> what I did was I made a string of gray in different values. So sometimes, like if you want to desaturate a color for in a shadow area, <coughs> or just because the color's not as vibrant, like a saturated color is like the color right out of the tube, like color you would say like yellow green blue whatever now wait hold on one second but <clears throat> if you want your color less bright less saturated then you can add gray into it and it'll de you can also add its complement but if you add a gray and it's in the same tone you won't lose the value of where you were so maybe I'll start with greens. And I'm trying to teach myself to do my colors from left, from in this direction. I don't know if that'll stick. I'm always trying to change things up and sometimes it sticks and sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> I've got a little too blue. Just kind of loosely have them by value. That's nice green, isn't it? I don't know what I want to do here. <clears throat> Yep, those are nice greens. Okay, <clears throat> now I'll do some pinks and then the beige. So it doesn't have too awfully many <clears throat> colors, which is kind of nice. So 
I'm going to start with that amethyst and my darker end here. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of that out. I think to make it even darker in my dark areas, I might add a little bit of brown into it, maybe. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to lighten it. I think I'm going to lighten it with a gray and a similar value up here. So it'll keep that same color. I need more of it. I think I need even more of it. Yeah, that's nice. That's a desaturated color. So see how it looks kind of like a grayish version? Maybe I'll do that again with this. Really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of my, um, that gray, grayish purple that I love. Yeah, that's definite. That's definitely a color in there. Sadie. Um... Go oh, even lighter here. So that might be. Hmm. I'm trying to think. This is more in the same value as that. So I'm going to put put it down here. <clears> Hi, <throat> Jackie. How are you? Muted and desaturated. Yes. So I love that. Let me see if I can make another. It's just still, that's so bright. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna add a little bit of that um, gray purple in there. Oh, that's pretty. I think that's a little more what I was heading for. light pinks, which I could really take kind of from this and go lighter. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of my permanent rose, too, and lighten that with this pink. I have a, my, um, oh, good, Penny, I'm glad you like it. Mixing colors is really fun. I used to mix along the way, but <clears throat> I've started to really try to mix as mix most of my colors up before I even begin painting. That's a little too light. I mean, a little too bright. Sorry. Um, let me see. That is, that's good. Okay, and I'm going to go a little bit lighter. With, I'm going to add white in. I might need to get out more whites. <clears throat> so these would be for my shadow areas and these for my highlight areas. All right, and then one more bit of white. Need more white right here. <clears throat> For my lightest areas. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, that's good. I'll bring it back up here. Oil painting is fun. Now wait, let me move this up. Whoop, I'm trying to get it centered for you. Whoops, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Making you hungry. Yeah, that's right. 
It is delicious. I always say it looks delicious. It's a thing to look delicious. All right, now I'm going to put in my dark, darkest darks. Um, no, wait. One minute here. I need a little bit of sap green out here, too. I didn't put any out, and I feel like... <clears throat> Oh, I didn't mix this color. I'll have to do that then. I'll do that in a couple minutes. Forgot all about that color. Mm -hmm. Really pretty colors. All right, let's do that. I need to mix up kind of these kind of brown, yellow, neutral colors. Totally forgot about that. So bring this back down here. Um, <clears throat> to put, I'll just do it right here. Now that's, um, what color is that? <clears throat> just so you know, that's um, an old Holland raw sienna light. And I'm going to add gray into that to desaturate it for in the vase. That was too much, so I'll put the rest of that in here. And that's still a little dark. Let me get more of this. That's a little better. And then I'm gonna take this and lighten that with a lighter gray. To make kind of a neutral grayish beigeish color. I said I love colors, but you can't quite name what they are, and that's pretty close. Could do that a little lighter with some white. <clears throat> oh, um, Penny, I only use well right now, today I only used a little bit of liquid and I only used it in that very base layer, and almost none. I pretty much just use paint right out of the tube. I tried to keep keep it as healthy as I can. Yeah, and the first, thank you, Ellen. All right. Alan just said, okay. Okay. Oh. I don't know why it did that. Um, let me turn the sound up before I try that. Can you hear me now? Now I am talking. Can you hear me? 
It's back. Okay, good. Maybe the volume. Yay, yay. Okay. Because I wasn't sure how to, I was going to leave and come back, but I didn't know how I was going to do that on the other end and save it and all those things. So, yay. Okay. Maybe when it dropped, it just turned it down. I'm having a little crazy morning. Um, where else do I have greens? Just kind of dancing around. I always kind of dance around and do different bits till it all comes together. I can do some of my shadow, my dark areas of my flowers now. I'm so glad the sound's back. I do want to try to save some of that, you know, those fun colors that are happening in there. So at the very, you know, kind of intentionally not cover them up. And sometimes you do cover up bits that you love and that's all right. It's kind of a mixture. I always think of it as a dance between what you intend to have happen and noticing like when like happy accidents happen and not accidentally losing them. <clears throat> I need a sip of my coffee. So where's everyone listening from today? I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, and I've lived here all of my life. Oh, there's a neat, a dark... Alberta, Canada, North Carolina, Queens, New York, Appalachian Mountains of Tennessee, and it's from Tennessee to Illinois. These fun places I've never been. Central Florida. <laughs> Very fun to say, Ellen. Are you loving it? Is it warm there now or is it cold? Oh, I wish you could tell me. I don't, how do you say? Oh, to, to Quetlagalpa, Honduras. I'm sure I messed that up. It's a beautiful word. Just carving out that background. Sherry said I'll email about lodging info. Oh, yes. Thank you. Sherry's the one, Ellen, that stayed in um, Kennett Square at a cute place. Old, uh, old Carriage Garage is one block off Main Street. They're adorable. Kareen also owns two Airbnbs. And Kareen is the, the owner of the gallery. So, yes, that's perfect. And our inspiring art group, Sherry's the one. We're going to do a little field trip in a couple of weeks to her pottery studio. And yesterday when I was at um, the um, gallery downtown, I photographed some of her artwork in the window. I love that pink mixing in there. I don't want too much of it, but a little bit looks so neat. Oh my gosh, Allie, yeah, I'm sure you do love manatees. I don't know if I've ever seen one. I don't even know that I've ever seen a llama in person. That's something I need to do this year because we have llama farms like right out the road. When I used to go for a walk and see the animals, there's a llama farm out there that I always wanted to ask if I could, you know, go up and take photos of the llamas, but um, I never got around to that. And now I walk a different direction.
That's really fun. Okay. Um, now I'll go to a little bit lighter. It's still in the shadows. I'm looking for the um, shadow areas of the peony. Making sure my dark areas are, are all kind of getting filled in. That would be so cool to see manatees. That's that nice kind of neutral color that I mixed. goes. Love those colors in there. I don't want to mess them up. This is on shadow right here. As is this. Excuse me. Right, um, it's flashing here. Yeah, peonies are my absolute favorite flower to paint. I need a little of my neutral up in here. If I add in some of my kind of neutral bits, I think that'll help separate some of these pieces. I'm using the color, like a, kind of just the darker version of that background color, because there are bits of that peeking through in the background. I can't remember where I took this photo. I think I was like in an art show or something and had gotten these peonies. And sometimes it's hard to control the photo because I'm just outside and I just have to use whatever light I have. But um, I'll take a photo and I won't like it at all. And I... Unfortunately, I save so many in my phone that then sometimes I'll go back and find a treasure that I missed. That's always fun. There's a little... Are your gray scale colors what would be the minimum or maximum shade you would use? Well, they would go... I'm making my own little chart right now. I just started it, but I only have white at one end, and I think I have 11 squares, 10 at the other end. My middle ground will be fives, but I started doing it this way because I want to keep them kind of, you know, you always see those grayscale things. I want to make my own, so I have to let them dry before I do something else, but, um, <clears throat> and you don't have to do that many different colors either. You can just mix a few because it's hard because they do dry out then. No messy middle, Ellen. Yes, that's right. It's missing the messy middle. I love the messy middle in this one. It was really beautiful all the way along. 
Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Because I love messy middles, but this messy middle was spontaneous and fun, wasn't it? <clears throat> I could pretty soon do lights. Yeah, each stage of this I've enjoyed. <coughs> I didn't get to that part where I'm afraid, where I think, oh my gosh, this is never going to turn out. I think I'm going to have to try some more paintings like this. Um, let me do a little. I could put some lights in now, I think. They're all in shadow. There's a little bit of light up in here. Hi, Janice. And that's all in shadow, so I can leave that all down the way it is. Down, <laughs> the funny term. Leave it all in the shadow area. Where's my brighter green? I need a little bit of that in here. I just I dance around, do some of these um, outer petals, and I can just finish up on the inside. Yeah, the monochromatic roadmap. I love that. That is what I have here, isn't it? I love it too. A monochromatic roadmap. With splotches of happy color in the middle. Making sure that I have this in my shadow, all the right bits in the shadows. <clears throat> um, okay, now I can go a little bit later. What time is it? 43. We're still good on time. Some shadow area in here. Um, now I don't. And now I'm at the point where I'm thinking I don't want to get too precious with any of it. I just want to kind of just keep going the way I am and not overwork it but I still feel like I have some shadow areas I need to add in before I go all in with my light colors I want to blend, so I put that light area in there, but I want to blend that into, I think I need a smaller brush. Let me grab a smaller brush here. There's no reason not to use more brushes. I only use a few brushes because I'm lazy about cleaning them, which is not a reason. Yeah, I think I definitely needed to go to a smaller brush. Um. 
that's bringing that forward just by adding those little bit of light to this. And then that's also very light right in here. really nice okay and that's a little desaturated right in here and the lighter lights in here This definitely needs to stay in the shadow. Okay. Um, I guess this counts as the part where I'm usually holding my breath. It's really fun doing this part of filling it in, but I think I feel more pressure at this point, like of you have to think a little bit harder. Like the beginning of a painting to me is a lot more spontaneous. Um, and then when I get to this part of the painting, I have to think a lot more about my brush strokes and be, although I love doing it, but I do have to think more. It's pulling that up, and I love walking. Oh, good, Barb. That's what I need to be doing. Walking. We could do that in France. I do think I still have one or two rooms left in my French retreat, too. So if anybody's been thinking about that, I'm in the midst of figuring out my travel arrangements now. <clears throat> And I will let everybody know what I'm doing in case anyone wants to do the same thing. I have a friend doing that because I never travel. I don't even know how to do any of that. When I went to Italy this year, that's the first time that I traveled anywhere in Europe since I was in high school. It's a sad thing to say, isn't it? begin like a bricklayer and finish like a jeweler oh I love that Lisa that is exactly it begin like a bricklayer and finish like a jeweler that is perfect I need to write that down I'm gonna forget that but I love it I need a bigger brush again for this big kind of area. I'm going to let some of that gold kind of fleckish stuff stay in there. It's a, that's a um, technical term, fleckish stuff. Blend that little spot. 49. We're still good with time, too. Who knew? So I'm just kind of dragging those two colors together a little bit. And this has a cute little edge there. <clears throat> and a little white spot there. Now I don't want to make that dark. There we go. <coughs> <clears throat> so I want to see if there are any other like green or kind of neutralish colors that I need to add in. This has a little sp spot of green there. This actually is a little green right there. <clears throat> this 
need them on today. Oops. <clears throat> I might have to do this one large. Wouldn't it be fun, really big? <clears throat> oh, thanks, Ellen. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, anything else I'm missing? Any, I love like, no, wait, this looks a little chunky. This, I just had to get, there was like a bit of um, gold that was stuck there. Um, are there any other areas that need definition? I don't want to take it too far, but um, this has a little bit of highlight on here, which is kind of important to separate that. Oh, good. I'm glad you look forward to I look forward to Wednesdays, too. Um, I'm just fussing with it. I always say when I get to that point where I'm fussing with it and it's not improving, that it's probably time to stop. Yeah. I think I love it. All right, I'm going to sign it. It would, Anita, wouldn't it be fun big? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. So I have a 30 by 40 commission that I need to do behind me. And my daughter wants a 36 by 48 cow, which I need to work on. And I'm getting, getting everything kind of ready to go. But like sometimes I have to wait either for time or inspiration for it to start. But maybe I should do one of these first. All right, let me see if I can get this out of here more gently. Apple palette. And so thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I will save this um, on my YouTube channel and in my blog, a link in my blog too. If you want to, um, I mean, you guys already saw it, but you might want to watch it again. Who knows? Um, or for anyone who's watching this later. And what else? Um, so if you want to join me in Kennett Square for the workshop, it's going to be so much fun. Um, there's a link in my bio, like here on Instagram for everything. And also on my website, you can always go to my website to, um, find out anything that's going on. So I'm so glad you guys came. Thanks for hanging out. Happy Wednesday. And we'll see you again next week. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.